This is part two of the video of false prophets were dead wrong about this election and many other things over this past year. My name is Maurice Braxton. Evangelism for God is the channel where we talk about issues that the church run away from and expose Satan and him and his devices for who he truly is. Now, as I promised, there was five other things that the Bible where we were talking about God is against being the, uh, against false prophets and those that uh, cause the event their own, you know, have these delusions and uh, speak things that's not coming from him. And the Bible, I said, presents it in seven ways. And I took it from this book and I have it in the description. I had since 1993 that really helped me one of the many books. I told you I studied this stuff early on, but I want to give you the first one we talked about in the previous video was self-deceived liars. Now, um, and the key to that first self-deceived was some false teachers may be sincere, but they're still wrong. They have deceived themselves into believing their messages are true. As Jeremiah points out, their messages come psycholog psychologically from within their own minds and not from God. So let's move on to that right there is the key because I believe most, a lot of these false prophets are in that area. And there's some others that I know that are that I believe that are that was the second one that are truly liars. Uh, and there it is using uh, the enemy is using them and using the platform of YouTube to exploit people, God's people and people that are wanting to learn about God. So let's jump down to number three. Number three out of this, where the Bible puts them in seven categories, according to Dr. Henson and uh, Ed Lee. Richard Lee, heretics. They, these are those who preach heresy, false doctrine, and divide the church. Of them, John said, they went out from us, but they, but they really did not belong to us. 1 John chapter 2, 19. The, the Apostle, Peter, Apostle Peter said, there will be false teachers among you. They will secretly introduce destructive heresies and these men blaspheme in the matters they do not understand. Second Peter chapter two, verses one and 12. So that's the heretics. That's the, the, these people with, under this false prophecy. Scoffers is number four. Scoffers, there's some, and I taught a message on the scoffers of the uh, fools uh, from Proverbs, but scoffers, there are some who do not necessarily promote false teaching so much as they outright reject the truth of God. Of them, the Bible warns, in the last days, scoffers will come, scoffing and following their own evil desires. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 3, the apostle Peter, apostle Paul calls them lovers of themselves, boastful, proud, conceited. Second Timothy chapter 3, verses 2 and 3, Jude calls them grumblers and fault finders, verse 16. You see, scoffers, they're the ones, they talk, there's people. The truth has been revealed to them that these preachers and these teachers and these folks that they've been following on YouTube, that their messages are wrong, that their messages don't line up with God, but because they're lovers of self, because they are this, they, they, it has to be this way in their mind. They reject the truth. That's a scoffer. Number five, blasphemers. A blasphemer, those who speak evil of God, Christ, the Holy Spirit, the people of God, the kingdom of God, and the attributes of God are all called blasphemers. Jude, Jude calls them godless men who speak abusely uh, against whatever they do not understand. They are clouds without rain, trees without fruit, wild waves at sea, wandering stars. That's Jude. Uh, and Jude, the Apostle Paul also says he, he and him himself was a blasphemer before his conviction to Christ. First Timothy chapter one, verse 13. Number six, seducers. Jesus warned that some false prophets will appear with miraculous signs and wonders to seduce or deceive the very elect if that were possible. Our Lord's implication is that the spiritual seduction is very real threat to, to every, to even to the believers. This would account for the fact that a genuine but, de but deceived believers may be found among the cults. There's people within YouTube here, people that you've been to church, you 
want to know the Lord. You love the Lord. But somehow you've got caught up into listening to these preachers with great little things that itch your ears, things that get you excited with false hope. But then you start doubting yourself. I just, maybe I didn't have enough faith. Maybe I didn't do pray hard enough. This is why things didn't happen the way it should have happened during the election. This is why things didn't happen this year or, or whatever the way it should have happened. That's a lie. Don't allow the enemy to deceive you like that. But, and then finally, number seven, reprobates. The term means to disapprove, depraved, or rejected. Paul refer, refers to those who have rejected the truth of God and turned to spiritual darkness. Consequently, God has given them over to a reprobate mind. They have so deliberately rejected God that they have become with, filled with every kind of wickedness. And as a result, they're God haters whose behavior is senseless, faithless, heartless, ruthless. These people are so far gone spiritually that they know it and don't care. So in that, you see, that's the danger of playing around with this stuff that you don't want to get to that point where you go down the dark road and you get and it, you get down so far that you no longer can see clearly. Your, your everything, your eyes are blinded. Your mind is blind. That's everything. You don't see things clearly no more. You can care less. Things, sin that used to bother you, don't bother you no more. Things that, that that's when the enemy has you. That's what I've been talking about. You've got to watch out for that. Stay away from people that says, thus says the Lord, and it don't line up with scripture. Stay away from people that say, Thus says the Lord, and the Lord Spirit of God told me this. The Spirit of God told me that, and it's not come to pass at all. Now, it doesn't mean you reject all prophecy, because there is prophets and people of God that he's placed within the body of Christ, and we'll talk about the spiritual gifts in some upcoming videos, because I believe that that's very critical for all of us to know the spiritual gifts. And there is gifts. Within the body, not everybody has that gift of prophecy, and there's a and you you should receive it when it comes. But the Bible talks about all of these dreams and all of these prophecies in the end times. But at the same time, a lot of it it talks about the false ones too, and a lot of this stuff. The key, one of the keys, and let me I'm gonna close on this. One of the keys that you want to know. And someone said it well in, in one of the comments, and I've always said it as well. Pray and ask the Lord for discernment. 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 Be able to see behind a person. For, to be able to see who they really are. To be able to walk into a room or situation and be able to distinguish what's behind this situation. That's the spirit of discernment. God tells us in James, ask for wisdom, he'll give it to us. Ask God to guide you. Ask him to help you discern who's speaking the truth, who's speaking the error. Ask him, Lord, please protect me. I don't want to fall fate to these false teachings and, and allow Satan to use me for his kingdom. So that's all I have today. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe if you're new to this channel, because we continue to talk about issues that is this totally swept under the rug or don't uh, uh, anymore. And we're, most of all, we bring glory to God. My name is Maurice Braxton, Evangelism for God's the channel. Until next time, take care. God bless.